Chris, back to that breaking news out of Georgia just into our newsroom where a murder suspect is now in custody after an overnight manhunt. Deputies arrested Lorendrick Tabor moments ago after they say that he killed a man and then stabbed a woman last night. The sheriff says that this man also has ties to a homicide investigation in Anderson County. Fox Carolina's Michelle Zoo is live in Hart County and was there as the suspect was taken away in handcuffs. Michelle. Right, this is closure and relief for the sheriff. We spoke with him just moments ago after they were arrested Lorendrick Tabor within the past 15 minutes here off of Bowman Highway. I actually received a call from the sheriff during our last live shot, and we made it our way over here, and they have just taken off uh, Tabor from the EMS truck, and I'm told that he has been taken to the hospital and will be taken to the jail from here. But we were able to capture that arrest as it was happening, and then we were able to speak with the sheriff, and he tells me that it was a peaceful arrest. One of his deputies actually spotted Tabor walking along the highway here. He was, uh, he told me he was exhausted from being out in the woods pretty much for 12 hours and uh, Tabor also had a gash on his hand um, and the sheriff believes that came from a, a knife fight from the incident the, from the night before. Now this all comes after deputies say they found a man shot to death and a woman badly stabbed in a home on Friendship Road. That's just about three minutes from where we're standing now and the sheriff tells us the woman who was stabbed was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Now of course this is a uh, a successful arrest this morning after nearly 80 law enforcement vehicles were in the area last night and they uh, believe that he had not gotten out of the immediate area which of course was the case this morning so uh, the, uh, we did speak with the sheriff this morning and his first words were thank god and a huge relief for the county as well so once again right now Tabor is in the hospital and he will be taken to the jail once he is medically evaluated and we're going to be on the lookout for any further information as far as this goes he did mention that he believes that uh, Tabor is connected to a case that happened in Anderson last week uh, where a young man was found in a retention pond. So we're going to be on the lookout for any further information from him about that because, of course, there's still a lot to be investigated. But for now, I'll send it back to you in studio.